if he gay and you hang around with a gay person, you up to something. Yes, that's not, what we're saying. You're not gonna hang around no gay person for nothing. Right. There's nothing coming out of being friends with a homosexual. Right. The only thing that's gonna come out of a homosexual that could be good is for him to repent. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. You saw that, you saw that little skip across through there? You telling me that's a brother that's looking to change? Right. Come on, bro. Read it again. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Check this out. The greatest love I can ever do my brother is to cut his ass off if he don't want to change. Right. That's the greatest love I can do because he should have nobody in friendship that's righteous keeping God's laws while he want to stay in wickedness. That's right. Period. God, God commanded us to separate from those that commit sin. But he's right. capable of change. Of course he is. That's why we out here teaching him. That's why we out here trying to call the brother back. I got you. Pull that was you your homeboy. Pull that was your homeboy. Guess what? I got plenty of homeboys right now that I don't deal with because they won't come out of sin. Right. Period. Because right. I choose the most high. This is a war that's going on. Right. You got to choose which side you're going to be on. Right. You understand? Oh. You either choose God or you choose Satan. Which right. side you want to roll with? Yes. Then read it again, uh, uh, Luke 13 and 3. That's why we ask him, that's why we are here to uh, teach repentance yeah. so our people yeah, can right. turn away from sin. Because sin is what got us in our condition right now. Right. Sin is why you're in the bottom of the, uh, uh, the ghettos right now. Sin is why we're getting shot down in these streets. I don't know what you said. I know what you say is 100% percent true. truth. But you can't stop that man if he won't be gay. No, we you know can't I mean? stop him. Suppose but we can warn no, him. Yo, he, give me Ezekiel yeah, stuff. Suppose he was uh, your homeboy. 3 what and 17. Cut him off. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is what we do. We do what God says. It's really that right. simple. You, we gonna do what God say. I mean, I respect that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse seventeen. Bring it up. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. God made us a watchman to the house of Israel. You understand? That's why we out here doing this job. Cause God already chose us to come out here and teach our people. He made us watchmen unto our people. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning. Do what? Give them warning. Hey, brother, stop being a homosexual. Get right. your life together. Right. Repent. We give them warning. That's what I do for my all my brothers, my homeboys. I do that for them. I give them warning. Read. From me, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way. He said, look, I, when I tell you to go to the wicked, and give them warning and for them to turn from their wicked way watch this to save his life to do what to save his life that's why we do we go out to tell our people hey turn away from your wicked way so we can save their life you understand that's what i do to my homeboys that i love right. i give them warning i rebuke their ass sharply so they can repent and turn away from their wicked way so we can save their life right i love them that much to tell them to stop doing that that brother, he ain't doing that. He's sitting there telling that brother it's all right for you to stay in that sin. Because you know why? Because he want to be a gay. Right. He want to be a homosexual. Right. He want to roll with that brother. Right. You know good and well you ain't sitting there rolling with no homosexual unless you're ready to get down with being a homosexual. Right. That brother want to condone. He want to dab in that wickedness himself. That's right. why he tolerated. That's why he said, that's my brother. I don't know him for a long time. Because he been wanting to get with that brother for a long time. Right. Read. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. That same wicked man, he don't want to turn from his way, he's going to die in his sin. Right. You understand? Read. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Guess what? If, that, if I don't get that brother warning, I'm going to die. I'm going to have to answer for it. That brother ain't telling him nothing. Period. Three. Yeah, if thou warn the wicked. But if we give him warning, and he turn not from his wickedness. And he don't want to turn away from his wickedness, like that brother didn't want to turn away from his wickedness. Nor from his wicked way. Read. He shall die in his iniquity. He gonna die in his own damn sin. Read. But thou hast delivered thy soul. But I delivered my soul but I, I, because I, I gave him warning. I figured, you see that? I figured like this. 
if he gay and you hang around with a gay person, you up to something. Yes, that's not, what we saying. You're not gonna hang around no gay person for nothing. Right. That's what we saying. I like women. I got five kids. Right. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. It's true. Hey, what was that verse about? They, they assault what they like. What was that verse again? Um, Sirach so 13 and 16. Yeah, go back to that. Sirach 13 and 16. Let me show you. This is God's word. What you saying? You just repeating wisdom from God, bro. You just don't know it. God's spirit is in you. It's in you. You know what I'm saying? But you just gotta come into the knowledge of God. You pick your homeboy, you say you pick your homeboy up from the bus station. Right. And you didn't know he was dirty. And you get pulled over. And they find a drug underneath his seat. You're not going to jail. He's going to jail. Watch this. If he don't sit there and claim it, you're going to yeah, jail with but it. It's underneath his seat. Right. Well, well, he got to claim he it. He said, I don't know how I got there. You know how many black men do that right there? And everybody in the car go to jail? Right. Bring it up. That happened every day. It happened every day, but right. it shouldn't do. Right. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 13, verse 16. I'm going to point something out to you. All flesh consorted according to kind. All flesh uh, consort according to kind. So that's why you see a whole bunch of gay men together. You see what I'm saying? Because what? They all got something in common. They all homosexuals. Guess what? We all men of the Lord. Only people you ever see us roll with is men of the Lord. Right. You understand? Give you Hold on, let me finish the verse. And, man, and a man will cleave to his life. A man going to do what? Cleave to his life. When hey, when the homosexual left, he cleave right to him and left right with him. Right. Because why? He cleaving to his life. He ain't fooling nobody. He's just like him. He's just like him. So that's how we know. We ain't got to sit there and guess. The Bible tells us. He can sit here and lie to us all day, but he can't lie to the most high God. Right. You understand? He ain't gonna make this Bible be a liar. Matter of fact, give me that Romans 3. He ain't gonna make God be no liar, bro. He this not, Bible gonna be true every time. He not hanging with him for nothing. No, he ain't hanging with him for nothing. Cause his ass is wicked too. <laughs> right. Cause that's why he wasn't keeping no uh, God's laws. He's sitting up here uh, telling us some verses, but he ain't keeping no laws. You understand? Know and when we gave him warning, he ain't sitting there with us. He let, he sit there and roll right on with him. I'm not you know what I'm saying? Hey, guess what? You know what? The same way that brother, that uh, gay brother, didn't have his kids. Guess what? Where was this, that child's mother at? Why you ain't with the child's mother walking around with the baby instead of a homosexual? Bring it up. Come on now. Yeah. The book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. Bring it up. For what if some did not believe? What if some people don't believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Read. God forbid. God forbid. Read. Yea, let God be true. Let who be true? Let God be true. Uh -huh. But every man a liar. This Bible going to be true every single time. You ain't going to make this Bible no liar. Because God read right through those wicked, evil spirits. He can see right through that brother. Hey, this Bible 100% true, bro. It's 100% true. The thing about it is, we don't like to believe. And we get all into our emotions when it cuts us. Because we, you know what? We think we can sit down and lie to us. But look, we the men of the Most High God. Right. We understand God's word. We done studied it. We done applied it. So when you sit there and lie to us, we see right through those lies. Right. The simple man that don't keep God's laws, guess what? They're going to be sitting there fighting for the wicked. Right. Right. They're going to be up here going against the prophets. Right. Because why? They don't have the understanding of God. Yeah. They've been deceived and they've been misled. Right. So they fight along with the wicked. Instead of standing on God's word, read. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 29. Bring it out. A man may be known by his look. A man should be known by his what? A man may be known by his look. When they both walked up here, I knew right off the muscle that both of them was homosexual because one was blatantly a homosexual and another one was trying to be the man. I knew it by their looks. Hey, Read. And one that hath understanding by his countenance Read. when thou meetest him, a man attire. A man of what? A man attire. What grown what grown ass man walking around here with with some um some some sweatpants on that you wear to go to bed? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some pajamas on. <laughs> and the damn hundred degree heat, he walking around here with some damn women pajamas on. Wake him up! Free! A man's attire and it's excessive laughter. And it's what? Excessive laughter. Because everything funny to a homosexual when that Bible coming out. Everything funny. He ain't got his, I don't believe. I don't believe. <laughs> He's just scurrying right across there when he's seen these women. <laughs> Read. And gay. Show what he is. It show what he is. That's right. It show what he is. That's how we knew what it was. And he gonna sit there and pretend he don't know. I'm like, yeah, this, this is my brother. Ain't hard. It was your brother till we pulled them scriptures out. Hey. Right. You understand? That wasn't hard to figure out. It wasn't hard to figure out. 
But he's sitting there trying to disguise the fact that he a homosexual. But we, hey, read it again from the top. <laughs> the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 29. A man may be known by his look and one that have understanding by his continent. A man that has an understanding by his continent. That brother had no understanding. That's why he was walking around with a homosexual. You think that he's sitting there telling you, I go both ways. I go with women and men. Nigga, he with you. Why do you think he with you? If you do that, you gay too. Yeah. Why do you think he with you? He wants you. He wants you. He wants you to run right up in it. He ain't going to sit there and pretend that down. Oh, you trying to convert him. You ain't trying to convert him because he already told you he don't care. Listen, he might already did it. Hey, I know he already did it. That's his, that's his new woman, right there. He done had a baby just like that fool had a baby. You know, you know what? what? That's, that's the type of wicked men that's raising babies up in this earth. I'm a, because our women don't know how to go get them a righteous man. I'm but a, they're out here getting homosexual ass men. Listen, I'm gonna I'm tell you something. That's the reason why his girl wasn't with him because she probably left him because of that. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, that girl that was with him, she already knew he was a homosexual. Our women love rock, uh, running around being friends to homosexuals, period. They ain't running around wanting to be around no real man. They want them feminine men. Right. You understand? That's who they hang with. Feminine men. Because a real man gonna put their ass in their place and say, stop dressing like a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Stop with all that whoredom. Hey, take care of them kids. You understand? But hey, they love them feminine men that they can run over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna kiss their butt. They don't realize that those feminine men hate their guts. They want to be like them. Right. You understand? Because, hey, I'm going to tell you something. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 28. There's something wrong with our people. If, yeah, you got to think about something. If a man was running down the street barking like a dog, what would you say? I thought I would say just tell him to get Jesus. You say that nigga's crazy. Yes, well, Point say, blank. Jesus. You say he's crazy. But we don't say the same thing when you got a man sitting there pretending to be a woman. But God said, watch. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. God said he smite our people with madness. It's madness for a man to think that he's a woman. <laughs> it's madness for a woman to think she's a man. It's madness for a man to go up in another man's rectum. That's madness. That's sick. Yes, it's sickening. Go back to uh, Romans 1 and 20. I want you to peep this out. Was it 1 and 26? I want you to peep out what God is describing the homosexual. Because there's a spirit behind that homosexual. And that spirit is death. It's pure death. And it's nothing, it's nothing coming out of being friends with a homosexual. Right. The only thing that's gonna come out of a homosexual that could be good is for him to repent. Right. Anything other than that is nothing but death and wickedness. And so why in the hell would you want to hang with somebody that's all about death and wickedness? Watch this, read. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Yep. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? You know who did it? The white man did it. Because right. the white man is the one that said, a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman. And they made that mainstream. Right. They out here teaching our people that guess what? You can't even speak against homosexuals now. Right. But I'm going to stand for the most high and I'm going to speak against that homosexual lifestyle. Read. Right and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. They serve the white man more than they serve God. Read. Who is blessed forever, amen. Read. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. You hear what the Bible said? God gave them up to vile affection. You understand? Vile affections. Read. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. What's the natural use of a woman? To have children, to be with a man, to bring life on this earth. Read. And likewise also, the man. The man did it. What? Leaving the, leaving the natural use of the woman. Burn in their lust. Burn in their what? Burn in their lust. That's what's wrong with that brother right there. He don't care about that brother's soul. He's sitting there filled with lust for that other brother. Read. Burn in their lust, one toward another. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. God said men with men is unseemly. Read. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Read. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. He didn't want to retain God in his knowledge. Didn't you hear him say, I don't care what that book say. I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> Read. God gave them over 
to a reprobate mind. God gave him over to a reprobate mind. I want you to hear how his mind going to be thinking. Watch this. To do the things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness. His mind is filled with all unrighteousness. That's who you was calling your brother. Somebody that got a mind full of all unrighteousness while you sitting there trying to walk in righteousness. Them two and two don't go together, bro. Watch this. Read. Fornication. That's what's in that brother's mind. Fornication. Sexual sin. He said, I'll be with a woman. I'll be with a man. I don't matter. I do everything. Read. Wickedness. That's what's in his mind. Wickedness. Read. Covetousness. Covetousness. You can't trust that brother. He want what you got. You understand? He want to be with a woman. He want, he want, uh, he want what the woman want. A woman want a man. He covet that man. Read. Maliciousness. Read. Full of envy. Full of what? Full of envy. What homosexual you ain't seen full of envy? Read. Murder. What's in their mind? Murder. What's in their mind? Murder. Because you know what? Men being with men bring on diseases that get you killed. Right. They full of murder. Read. Debate. Then what is it? Debate. That's all you see is a bunch of homosexuals always arguing and fighting. Tell me you don't see it. Debate. Uh-huh. Deceit. Malignity. Whispers. Backbiters. Haters of God. They what? Haters of God. They hate God. Do you believe homosexuals hate God? God just said it. Do you believe the Bible? Yes. Read it again. Haters of God. God said homosexuals are haters of God. Do you believe that? We just say they don't believe God's word. Yes, they don't believe it. Because God said he was going to put them to death. Yeah, so, he, he, he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. As a result of homosexuality. So should we sit there and realize that example and not go that route? No different than somebody that smokes cigarettes. Right. No different than somebody that's committing adultery. Right. You're in the midst of sin, but you can turn away from that sin. Okay. But sin sins is wicked as hell. Right. You don't understand? You ain't gonna get past that. I'm gonna give you an example. You shaving off your beard is a sin. Right. Guess what? What's worse? A man running up in another man's butt? He said the only <laughs> sin that you cannot be forgiven for is blasphemy. Guess what? We, we all said that. We said he can repent, right? right? But what happened if you stay in that sin? Bring it out. You're going to be gay G. Only one sin you can't be Hey, you didn't answer the question. What happens if you stay in that sin? You're going to be gay G. You're not going to forgive us and be forgiven. How are you going to be forgiven if you died in it? Y'all have a good one. Hey, you know why you ran? Yo, you ran. You got jumped right in your ass right in that car. Right. You know why you ran? Because as soon as I told you, you was in the midst of sin, you took off. You didn't even want to find out how to come out that sin. No, watch this. Show the sin we in. Hey, we up here right now. Tell me what sin we in. Check out what Christ said. Ho, ho, ho. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Well, listen. He also told us to correct our brother if we in sin. So watch this. Correct us. Tell me what sin we in. He said, he said... No, 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 no. Ye that no. is without Show sin, me love. ye that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Who was he talking to? He was talking to some men that was wanting to put a woman to death. Who, who, we ain't trying to put you to death, bro. That's right. Who, who watch us, watch us, watch us. Who who cast cast stone? Can you walk Nobody. without Nobody. sin? We all hey, sin. can you walk without sin? Yeah, you can walk with sin. You are without sin. Yeah, you can walk without sin. So, so guess what? If we up here now, not walking, we're trying to keep all God's laws walking without sin. Why would you say we, we're a sinner? First, tell me what sin is. Sin is anything that's against God. No. What is sin? First John 3 and 4. <laughs> See, we, you know, we too quick to throw out words we don't heard the pastor say without ever no, asking I, for the I, definition. I, I've studied myself. So okay, I asked you what sin was. You didn't even close. Okay, go ahead. Watch it. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. Transgresses also the law. Whoever commits sin transgresses God's law. Breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. That's, that's how. That's what sin is. Right. So, if, so guess what? If you don't know God's laws, can you repent? No. No. Not, but, no. 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 That's no, as simple as that. No, no. Watch this. So I'm gonna give you a law that you're breaking that you can repent for. It ain't hard. You love God. Watch this, 1 John 5 and 3 first, before I give you the law. Because look, that's what you got to understand. Us coming out here, learning God's laws, and then coming out here teaching our people, 
the laws so they don't commit sin. That's called love. Right. Watch this. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. This is the love of God that we keep his commandments, right? Read. Right. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments ain't grievous. Meaning they're not hard to do. It shouldn't irk your spirit to sit there when I give you a law that you know what you be like, man, I'm gone. I'll see y'all later. Oh no, but, that's not the reason. No, but what I'm saying is the spirit inside you that okay. they watch this. You gotta understand, it's a spirit inside all of us. Yeah, we and all, watch this, yeah. watch this, watch this. If you don't know God's laws, what type of spirits is inside you? A wicked spirit. Because that's sin, remember? So sin is evil, correct? So when you don't know God's laws, there's an evil spirit that's inside you. And when guess what? What who's gonna sit there and not want to hear God's laws? That spirit ain't gonna want to hear it. It's gonna bother them. That's why you see a lot of our people get mad, want to fight, and get all pissed off. And all we're doing is giving them the news that God said give. Because remember, if they love God, it shouldn't be grievous to their soul. Right? right? Am I wrong? It should. Right. Leviticus 21:5. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. You shouldn't make baldness upon your head. Now, you got hair on your head, right? You're keeping that law, right? But now, did hold, on, Samson, hold on, hold on, did hold on, hold on, bro. Hold, hold, hold on, bro. Listen, don't run away from the scripture. You got hair on your head, right? Yeah. Then keep in mind, I had locks. And guess what? I cut the locks off. I still had hair on my head. Right. So he said, don't shave your head bald like Michael Jordan. Not doing well, hold on, let me finish. Hold on, bro. No, he didn't shave his head bald. He just said he cut off his locks. Watch this. They shall not make baldness upon their head. He said make baldness upon your head. Like, you know, you know his hair cut low, but you can still see hair on his head, right? His hair cut low, but you can still see his hairline, right? It's lying. It ain't fully bald, is it? Watch this. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You see all these men out here? Where's they got that beards. At? Where's that at? Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Watch this. Hey, come on. Hold up. 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 Don't run. Remember I told you about your spirit? Tell you about that spirit that don't want to hear God's word? Watch this. Give me Proverbs 28 1. Hey, where do you go? Here's the last verse. This last verse I want you to hear. Watch this. Hey, this last verse. Last verse. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee when no man running, pursues. I'm not doing this. Watch this. Today is the Lord's day, bro. I ain't running watch from this. the watch word. This. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You know what up. you should be doing? You, how old are you? 55. 55 years on this earth. You know what you've been doing? Committing sin against God. We all have. No, 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 no. We all, all repented. Right. We I, all repented. Because you know, what's this? Yes, watch this. Watch this. If you stay in your sin after you heard the law, Christ is no more for you. Watch that. You don't want to hear that, do you? Watch this. I want you to hear this verse right quick. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, if we sin willingly, after you don't heard the law and say, hey, you're supposed to grow your beard, if you continue to shave that beard, sinning willingly, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. After you don't heard the truth that you're supposed to be keeping God's commandments. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remain no more sacrifice for sin. Christ gave his life for you. And you sat there and said to hell with Christ's life. Period. That's what happens. But you'd rather go out here and give out some bags, give out some stuff, instead of learning how to serve God righteously. You don't spend 50 something years on this earth, you can't even give God 10 minutes. The damn poor ain't never going nowhere. But you can't give the Lord 10 minutes for your own salvation. But oh, that's a shame. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.